only thing you're doing is giving your clients exactly what you think they need, then you're, you're doing a massive disservice to them. See, when I first started, I used to give people a lot of what I thought they wanted, right? Oh, 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 oh. This would be cool, or you know, I should give them this product, or I should give them this service, or I should give them this type of coaching, or I should give them this answer. But the, but the biggest problem with that is I didn't go to them and really know or ask or understand what they wanted. So my marketing never worked. It was hard for me to get clients because it was all trying to, it was all coming out of my head. So we, we really got to understand that, you know, as coaches. As trainers, I don't care how you distinguish yourself, I don't care how you live yourself, speaker, trainer, whatever it is, you really gotta understand that it's all gonna be in relation to listening to our market and learning what they want to be successful. Like when I first came out to, you know, just this industry, and I said, you know, I wanna help people, I wanna speak, I wanna coach. People have been telling me telling me this for years anyway. I should speak, I should coach, I should train, I should be a counselor, I should, you, you know, just help people on these different levels. The biggest problem that I had with that is I was automatically just thinking that I had all of the answers and that people would just gravitate towards it just because this was my experience, right? Or this is, uh, this is just what I knew or this was, a lot of it was just jumbled advice in my head. But once I went from, all right, I want to go from just giving all of this free advice out to, I want to do this as a business and I want to make money or I want to generate six figures or, you know, I want to impact the world. Once I started moving into that frame and it, would, it, it started becoming way more outcome based, meaning um, I coach and consult hundreds of people each and every month and I've put, and I've, and I've graduated hundreds of people from my coaching program. And I've impacted over two million coaches and speakers in the last, and entrepreneurs in the last two years, or over two million in the last two years. And, and you know, I don't say that to beat on my chest, but the thing that I've really noticed is that a lot of folks, especially when they're just starting, is trying to force their product or service onto somebody who doesn't necessarily value it. That doesn't mean that they won't value it. That just means that the offer that they're providing doesn't work. That just means that the value in the marketplace isn't perceived as something that, oh, I wanna pay this high ticket for. Like, I'll give you an example. When I first came in the game, one of the, one of the you know, I, I looked at the Tony Robbins, the Les Brown, and, um, and I came across, you know, E.T., Eric Thomas, E.T., the hip hop preacher. So when I saw him, I said, oh, my man is charging like, I think at the time, I don't know, it was like $3,000 for an hour. So I'm like, oh, my man is charging three grand an hour. I'm going to charge three grand an hour, right? So I get out there and uh, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, yo, I'm going to coach you. I'm going to charge you $3,000 an hour. And guess how many people took it? Donut. Nobody took the offer. So why did nobody take it is because I just came on the scene. I'm saying that I can help you. I'm saying that I can work with you in your business. And me coming out of the gate trying to charge you that, I can put whatever price tag I want on it, but the marketplace didn't perceive that as valuable. So because they didn't perceive it as valuable, nobody paid for it. So, you know, I was losing a lot of confidence, but it wasn't until I decided to, I just I just wanted to get confidence some kind of way. So I'm like, please, like, let me just get a client. Let me get somebody who's gonna pay me some type of money. So what, what happened is I said, let me go the exact opposite. So then I went from that to, I'm gonna charge you $300 for an entire year. Now mind you, this is one-on-one -on -one coaching. And I said, I'm gonna work with you every single week, three grand, bow. <laughs> and when I went out and I, uh, and, I mean, not three grand, 300. And I put it to this way, it didn't take me that many clients to realize that this is a lot of work for $300. Like I was spending $300 the first month and I got a, I still got 51 weeks left to coach him each and every week each and every person um, but with that but that that was a lot of work but what that taught me was a valuable lesson it taught me that the marketplace is gonna is gonna they're gonna pay you for what they feel like not necessarily your work but what they feel like the value you could provide them is worth does that make sense so like today I can charge way more than that because 
I can help people actually make six figures as a coach. I can help them make that in their business. So now I can charge more than that because I have way more social proof now, right? I got way more clients. I got way more credibility. I know a lot of the top people and the gurus and, and, and you know, the biggest names in our industry. I, got a, I, have, I, have a, I have a bigger track record now. So because my track record is bigger, the checks could be bigger, right? The, the, what I can charge could be a lot more, right? Which is why typically the people that are at the top of any field are usually not the cheapest, if you ever notice that, right? And usually the people who charge the cheapest are usually, are not considered the best, right? And I mean, and it makes sense because usually when you're able to charge more, you could provide a better, you could provide, you could provide a better, value proposition because you can give more so for example if i charge more in my coaching business i can give people a better experience so right i can i can i may be able to give them you know uh, individualized coaching i may be able to give them access to certain software i may be able to give them you know uh you know certain certain tools certain trips i got clients who they send they part of their their offer the package of their program is they send they send the person on a getaway they send the person for a spa day they you know if it's a couple they might send them out for a weekend getaway all that is covered right they might travel out every single month to coach them in person and fly in you know via plane right so all of that is important in determining um, what people want though right so the goal isn't to just say all right this is what I think they want and let me just do it because this is what I feel like is important other than that, rather than that, what you want to do is you want to fit, you want to figure out, and I might need survey. You might need to survey them. You might need to send an email out. You might need to do, um, you know, you might need to have those one-on-one -on -one conversations. You might need to have free coaching calls or free consultation sessions to figure out, okay, well, what do they really want? What do they value? You might need to do a webinar, a training, a live event. You might have to do whatever it is you need to do in order to, to have that you might need to be part of a facebook group you might need to look at the reviews on the amazon right so whatever you teach or train on you might need to go to amazon.com look under the book reviews and then look at all of the five star reviews and say okay boom this is what they want you might have to say okay um i'm looking at the one star reviews mm, this is not i don't think this right here is going to be the best to you know, in order, to, in order to impact this audience right here. So then now you can take all of that data, all of that data that you're getting, and now you can use that to create, all right, I know this is exactly what they want. I know this is exactly what they need. And I did that a lot. Like I've created things that I thought people wanted, you know, like, like services that I thought they wanted. Oh, they're gonna want access to all of these different products, all of these different ancillary services. You know, they're gonna want, you know, this, this kind of checklist, they're gonna want, um, you know this additional coaching and I spent a lot of years creating a bunch of different courses and adding all of these other additional benefits that I thought was gonna be dope but it wasn't it was dope to me but it, it, but the, the client that I was looking to help didn't see it as valuable so this is my challenge to you was gonna be when if you're finding yourself in a place where it's hard for you to market it's hard for you to get clients it's hard for you to get to, to get your ideal client interested. I'm gonna challenge you to start doing surveys. I'm gonna challenge you to get in front of them. Like join Facebook groups. Like literally, like that's what I did when I first came into the industry. And I said, all right, I, I went from helping college students, and that was a little bit easier for me because when I was a college development coach, I I used to I was in you know I just. I was, I was a few years removed from college, and so I had a lot of my fraternity brothers. I had a lot of friends that I knew that was still in school or they graduated school. I still, had, I still knew people, teachers, staff, I still knew a lot of people that was there, so I had a good sense of what really people needed and what they wanted and valued. So that helped out, but I was in the environment, so that helped out. Um, when I transitioned and I started working specifically, I started with business owners, and then I transitioned, and I went more to uh, individualized um, coaching, specifically working with coaches and speakers. Then I went from that to 
um, let me really survey them and let me see what they want. Let me have these conversations individually and see what they want. Let me, let me, let me do some free trainings and then guess what? If I'm doing these Q and A's and I'm doing these free trainings, mm, that's important. Let me Q and A them. Let me see. Oh, now I'm getting all of these questions. I'm doing these weekly free Facebook lives. I'm doing these weekly trainings. Oh, I'm doing all of the surveys. Cool. And I used to write it down and I got a whole notebook of just notes, just taking all of these notes. And that allowed me to say, okay, let me sit back. Let me look at everything. And now I can craft, I can craft a webinar that they're going to be attracted to. I can craft a Instagram live. I can craft um, social media posts. I can craft um, a coaching offer. You feel what I'm saying? I, I, I know what this audience wants over here. So now I can get in there and I can speak to the audience. You have to learn what they want.